S7 versus a J380, I think. So we made it here to Eleuthera about sunset last night. Um, we tucked in behind this little island called Meeks Island. Uh, we had to tuck in last night because we got here too late to be able to go through the cut on our way to Hatchet Bay. So the cut we have to go through is called Current Cut and it's named that because of the intense current that runs through it. It can get up to like 10 knots of current, they say. So you have to time it perfectly at slack tide. So that's what we're doing this morning. Um, slack tide is gonna be around one in the afternoon. So we're about to head over there now. And then we have another 16 miles to go to Hatchet Bay. And apparently in Hatchet Bay, the entrance is extremely narrow and it's really hard to find. It actually looks like you're going into a solid rock wall. So that should be real interesting. We're looking forward to that. Okay, so we've been buddy boating with this guy over here. The name of his boat is Starlight. It's a, it's a 42 foot J boat. So our boat, if you look at the numbers, is actually supposed to be faster than this one. Not by much, just like barely faster. And cruising with him for the past three or four days or three or four trips, he is faster than us. Probably by a good knot, knot and a half. So we were talking about the differences between the boats. One of the differences, he has, uh, he has a three blade boating prop and he says that he has a lot of torque into weather. We do not. So when we go to weather, he, he's faster than us. Whenever we sail side by side, we're about the same speed. So yeah, really cool comparison between the boats. He said he's had nobody who can actually cruise with him. We're one of the first people who kind of keeps up with him and can hit all the destinations he's in. All right, race is on. Benito first, 42 S7 versus the J380, I think. Leaving us a little bit, babe. We have to have a little heavier, and he's got, he's got a quick prop. We got a, a fixed weight prop. Oh, that's what it is. Not our trimming skills. All right, what's the update? Having a badass sail right now. Is that really what's happening? Because we is. have 10 knots of wind and we're going three knots. That's perfect. <laughs> the last sail, we, we had 20 knots of wind and we were doing eight knots. <laughs> this is nice and relaxing and calm and laid back, and I could drink a rum. And the waves are 10 foot tall. Yeah. So how many more miles we have left to go? Uh, like six, five or six. Okay. Yeah. So trying to get there before the sun sets. Yeah. We so we might have to motor sail. No. Towards the end. No, uh, it's 4.30. The sun sets at seven. Two and a half hours. Two, we got two and a half hours and we're doing, it's gonna take us right about an hour to get there. About an hour, okay. Yeah. That might work out fine then. Yeah. We're doing, we're doing between four and 4.1. 4.1. <laughs> Maybe just over an hour, right? It does look, it shit, looks dude. narrow. Huh? Oh, we got holy, that. Holy crap. Be nice if the boat wasn't rocking. <laughs> Maybe you need more steerage. Okay. Oh, I don't like this at all. 
Not only is it narrow, there's two giant cliffs on either side. Yes, yeah, so don't hit the cliff. Are you telling me? That's what I'm telling you. Ah. Uh, Steerage here. Ugh. Oh, with the white stack back? Yeah. Oh, the white sand. Kind of up and yeah, forward. Yeah, go around and right in there. Chuck block, huh? Uh oh. Our outboard's been giving us a lot of problems. We, uh, it was, we first problem we had was we, we, we couldn't idle without overheating. It had a circulation, a raw water circulation issue. And then eventually it just started like, we just couldn't idle at all and it would just die. So I'm doing all the maintenance on that board and I'm finding that the, uh, the raw water pump was just clogged up. It was nasty. So I cleaned all that out. So I'm putting it back together now. Change the oil, clean the spark plugs. Uh, change the transmission oil. So yeah, should be should be good to go once this is done. Must be bad fuel. Dude. I think it's bad fuel. Is it finally alive? It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> is it really though? What? Doesn't sound right, but will it get us to shore? Yeah. I think I'm taking my rod. I got paddles. You got the paddles? Okay. Working okay? It looked pretty good. Yeah. I got the idle sitting hot. It's no more idle right now. It's weird. I don't know why it's not idling right now. Get it? Can I catch a fish today then? Sure. Yeah, if, our, if our outboard doesn't die, 